and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Nami. This is another deck that was sent to me before the new cards came out, but it has been updated with the new Piltover and Zong cards. Um, mostly the Pharaoh's Financier, <laughs> you know how good this card is, uh, but it's going to be pretty good. We're going to be uh, you know, saving up our spell mana for Nami. Uh, being able to play spells. One thing that I love with Nami is playing Flash of Brilliance. Those two work so well together. Um, you know, being able to just refill your spell mana immediately with Flash of Brilliance. You can level up Nami super fast with that card. Plus, you're making some created cards, which is good for Victor. And so that's going to be created cards. This Pharaoh's Financier created cards. Obviously, the Ballistic Bot. Um, but then, uh, then we'll have a card like Station Archivist. Archivist is also great with Flash of Br Brilliance, right? Because if you just have your three spell mana... You you know, play your Archivist, find Flash of Brilliance, create you know, create a spell that won't be fleeting anymore in your hand, and you still save all your mana, and you know you just spent zero mana to do that. So that's a really good combination there. Archivist, of course, is also a great combination with Iterative Improvement, as we've seen before. More ways to get created cards also with the Iterative Improvement. Um, and then Poro Can. I think Poro Can is going to be an all-star. This is, again, another spell for Nami. Uh, it gives us some elusives and also created cards for Victor. So lots of just like really cool synergies between lots of cards here, um, and I'm excited to play it. So let's get to it. Let's play some Victor Nami. Uh, we're going to be playing in Rigged. We're going to be playing five games over there. Okay, so we got Poppy Scouts. They're going to be attacking. Yeah, no Fleet Admiral Shelly. No Fleet Admiral Shelly at the top end. I think we send one Nami back, right? Not a bad champion spell, but I think we send one back. We'll keep the um, the Mystic Shot to go along with the Nami. Perfect. We got some double troubles. As we know, a lot of the times you just want to bank, bank, and then double trouble with Nami. I think every spell in our deck costs three or less, right? Yeah, we have 22 spells... And they all cost three or less. So we're a really good Station Archivist deck. Because we have tons of hits. And they're also all very cheap. We don't have to worry about having you know six mana spells that we're hitting. So I'm playing it slow to help Nami level. Playing it slow, really hoping not misfortune. So Nami's at three. I've got your back. Honor guide me. So if I mystic shot. The 3 2, uh, it turns the Sentinel into being a 3 3. The thing is, you know, they could have like the give everything tough card. I'm just gonna let it happen. I want Nami to level. Now Nami's at 6. Wow, that seven hitting the shell shocker. That attune makes it seven, so now Nami makes it eight with Nami's attune. I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. That was a pretty good shell shocker. So they just passed their priority previously. Well they got over there. They obviously have lots of cards they can cast. They're surprisingly choosing not to cast. Well, I'll just go ahead and go to the next round while they while they waste mana. And while we kind of stabilize here. Alright, cool. So that they should still just trade. I like trading the Mystic Shot for a Sharp Sight. Like that's all good trades for me. Let me get you that file. 
I'll take this Flash of Brilliance. Flash of Brilliance allows me to still keep some fumes available if they go, like, Poppy or something. They have either their champions. Or if we take, like, Iterative Improvement, that takes up the rest of our mana for the round. So this is pretty cool. But sometimes these, you know, 6 plus cost spells aren't always the best, and so we can use Portal Cannon to discard. This one we just got for free from a Mage Seeker Conservator. Like, that was pretty... Like, that was an awesome hit with a double trouble, the Mage Seeker Conservator and the Shell Shocker. Alright, they're done. <laughs> that was just... A good start for us. Two double troubles and Nami. Okay, so Caitlyn with Jace. Obviously, that's like Draven, right? So it's like Caitlyn, you know, because he kind of used to Caitlyn Draven, but that's Caitlyn Jace. So we're going to want Double Trouble on three. I'm not really banking other spell mana to play these other cards, but these are good cards. Maybe we just get rid of these two. But, like, the bot and the Portal Cannon work well together. Your Caitlyn Jace's with Bandle City. Gear up. Let's go, people. What's up, Krusty Codger? I'm just going to go ahead and play this Ballistic Bot, start creating some ignitions. I know we don't add as much mana for Nami, but we don't have Nami in our hand anyway right now. We can, you know, continue to level up Nami over time. But, but I'm thinking, like, get excited, discard ignition, kill one of the th one of the three threes. This isn't part of the training. How do the road go? Alright, maybe we'll just take three. Keep it up. Keep up, keep up. Get spray fin in play. Me, miss? Not by yeah, good thing we, we just took the three. Now we'll be able to get excited, Caitlin. Nami. Alright, so you're at five. My people are counting on me. So six. Flash of brilliance. I am the tide caller. I will drive back the No, I haven't done J Senna. Um, no, but I think that is an interesting combination with um Senna being able to turn some of these slow spells into fast spells. I do like that combination. Alright, so then Krusty Codger is the smallest. I don't really need to give another plus two plus one to the Krusty Codger. We'll play that, get it. Yeah, so we knew we knew that like that was gonna happen. That was pretty obvious what was gonna happen there. Let's do this. The Krusty Codger getting three health isn't just isn't important against all these three health things, so we'll get the daring portal in play. Yes, we'll load. One step ahead. It's only been two credit cards for Victor. Deal seven to a unit or place it into the deck? I guess deal seven. It's an awesome day for progress. Perfection. 
Illusion. The same calling card from our other case. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. Mm. Let me know if you still want them science lessons, Chase. <laughs> Will do, Axel. You know, kind of debating about whether to make another archivist or a spray fin and decide to go with the spray fin with. You know, they're at 14, this is 7, elusive. Uh, never mind. That's not as good. And I think we should just trade with the 3 3 before acceleration gate. Happens. Ready for some target practice, Kate? Mm -hmm. Do try to keep up. Oh, I guess they can't cast Acceleration Gate, okay, and they only have five mana. So, okay, so I don't have to worry about doing that beforehand. Right, let's see what we get. Harpoon? That's interesting. Harpoon would give me three mana. Like double trouble, get some blockers also. I'm just gonna harpoon. Let's investigate. Now we wait. Certainly considering going with yeah, I was certainly considering going with like pocket aces on the, the archivist block, but that's kinda risky. So our only spell in the top five is just the Mystic Shot. That's not great. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, that is what I pay you for. I kind of want to shuffle that up. I want some more spells. Oh, really? I guess that one was in the top ten. So we do shuffle up these where these traps are, also. By doing that. The text good? Uh, not sure about the workers. Right, so though. now Victor is gonna be leveled up. Should probably play this mystic shot. We only have those two flash bombs, right? Man, that's some bad luck. So one was just randomly in the one card that we drew with the deck, and then the other one, then we shuffle with the predict, and then we just shuffle the card right on top of the other one. That's pretty, that's some bad luck. All right, if I scrap shot, we have one, two, three, four, five mana left. Is killing Caitlyn that important that we need to use the scrap shot? Man, there are no champs. All right, but we found a sump fume, so we could just do that instead of using seven mana for this thing. Carry on. We've only seen one champion so far. drawn one champion so far. So these are both 5-4s. They're putting a lot of pressure on us. Definitely gl really glad I didn't use Scrap Shot, but still. So obviously that's blocking there, that's blocking there, that's blocking there. 
Walks there. I'm going to want to play that card. I was planning on playing Spray Fin, but we'll just go this route. Is that finance? Did that financier create that assembly line? As we saw earlier with Jace Wayne, Noxus has lots of poor cards for the financier, but they are really hitting well with the financier. Go down to four. have to play that to not go down to four or not. Finally found a, a champion. They could very easily be holding on to like thermogenic beam and stuff. Or just double mystic shot. That was just not a very fun game, you know? It <laughs> just kind of had to so just say. It's a difficult game to play. That's the thing about having all the decisions like we had. Everything was kind of difficult, but just... They kind of had, like, just way too many threats, you know? Like, they just had every single one of their threat cards, and every, like, financier was making, you know, another spell that was two bodies. It was just every spell was multiple bodies. Okay, we are facing Heimer Jace now with Bandle City. We have the Financiers. Okay, so we're in Nami deck. I don't think we send these cards back though. Like these are the cards that we're always happy to have, but that does mean that we're not really going to be a very good Nami deck this game as far as refilling our spell mana goes. Okay, so we're going to be able to create the ignition for Poro Cannon. So Poro Cannon can, you know, trade with the Forge Chief. The tech's good. Uh, not sure about the workers, though. I'll play the other one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you forgot we were a Nami deck? I know, we don't we don't ever see champions. But yeah, I guess we're a Nami deck. We had one for a little bit last game. That gives them exactly six mana. I can see them wanting to play the double deal three. Yep. So I didn't put another body in play. It's between the first two, the progress day and the unlicensed innovation. Progress day is going to be better for a very long game, but we could get ran over. So let me save two more mana for Nami. Yuck. 
That is not what we wanted. We have something on that case. Okay. At least no Heimer. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. What I think you are. Let's go. It's an awesome day for progress. It's our our opponent's third financier. Every opponent has every financier. No, it's only the second. Never mind. Okay. I know. I, I know. I, I kept a hand with two, so I shouldn't be complaining. Okay, so they got a progress day from one financier. Which we could just play our own and just keep up with them. My board's not great anyway. So Victor's at four, Nami at six. So this would be Victor at five. I really like these pocket aces. They're not really doing it for me. Alright, now we are at six. Victor! Okay, nothing in hand is a created card for leveling up Victor. And nothing else attunes for leveling up Nami. Okay, so they have nine cards in hand. Not exactly ten. Oh, wait. Oh! I forgot I was going to burn because of that. I was thinking, you know, nine. We draw one. Right. Oh, a flash of Brilliance could have been good. But, you know, by, by passing, we're going to have both of our champions leveled up. This Acceleration Gate card has just been kind of destroying us. Kind of destroying us. I am the tide caller. I will drive back the darkness. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. Oh, that's Challenger? I thought they chose Quick Attack, but oh, I... Man, I am not playing well these last two games. I'm really not playing well. I just burned that flash of brilliance. This thing has challenger, and I just put Nami in front of a challenger. Oh, I did not know that thing was elusive. I should have blocked the 17 the first time, but I did not realize that thing was elusive. Man, I am even worse. So I assume we died a Mystic Shot. My my plan is just my meld. Interesting use of tech. Yeah. Firing. This game's hard. <laughs> you know that's this game is hard, and uh, acceleration gate destroyed us both of those games. But I also made um, you know poor decisions. It's uh, when you have all the decisions. You gotta make the right ones, and sometimes you're gonna make the wrong ones, and so hopefully y'all learned from my mistakes. Jace looked really good in both those games. Acceleration Gate in particular, I just didn't have an answer to. Oh, 
Okay. New game. Time to play better. Let's turn this around. Let's make this a three and two. But first, we got to try to get this one. So we have Teemo Caitlyn up first. Uh, round one Teemo is not good for me. Okay, Poro Cannon's good. So I, I want to play Poro Cannon so we can block Teemo, but there's nothing I really want to discard. And I can't even block, you know, this Puff Cap up right now. Hmm. Ballistic Bot it is. My people are counting on me. So kind of an odd game here, but I'm going to be going with the Nami. Okay. I'm not mad at the, too mad at that, right? Like, we're getting rid of two good cards from their hands. Like, the Nami would have been a pretty decent blocker. I could play this Ebb. But the Ebb could just do two damage to like the <laughs> the Nexus, and that would be pretty bad. So I'll just pass. I'm gonna just save mana so I can play Victor and Victor's spell next round. Yeah, we got rid of an Insider Knowledge. Join the glorious evolution. Good card to get rid of. Hmm, that's somebody who's not scared. That's too bad. All right, so we know they have Mystic Shot, right? Or at least we can kind of assume that they have Mystic Shot. We infer a Mystic Shot. Three. We play this, it's four. The reason to play Nami here is, you know, maybe just start growing this Daring Poro. Hmm. Now let's play this. Okay, Challenger's interesting. Alright, I'm definitely going to be going for this give it all. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> you know, why not? Why not? Alright, my plan. Give it all this round. Probably not. Let's go ahead and go with you. We'll play it like next round. Plus two, plus one, pocket aces, I guess. I think you have something on that case. What's the motive? Here you go the plus two, plus one, pocket aces on the financier. All right, so there's that mystic shot. But I kind of want—I just want to put it on the victor, I think, actually. And we're one mana short from playing this give it all right now. One mana short. Fearsome. We're not hitting good keywords recently. This will be my magnum opus. We could iterative improvement the puff cap pop so they can have quick attack. Oh, come on. <laughs> Kill my other elusive. So I'm, I'm playing really greedy this game, right? This is a... I want to make up for losing all my other games. <laughs> Greed here. Now, okay, so I could go... Nami first before give it all? Or do we just give it all right now? So give it all right now, they'd all have quick attack elusive. 12 sixes. 
I need to play right now. The Mirai will never know fear again. Embrace the current or be swept away. Oh no, quick attack. Oh, I was already going to have quick attack. Alright, here we go. Um, We could probably get one more keyword in first. Probably. Probably do one more keyword first. Oh, his impact was the keyword. <laughs> That's not not a useful keyword. No, we just killed the unit. All right, time for give it all. Make them all 1716s. Overwhelm, Challenger, Fury, Fearsome, Quick Attack. Because if, if I time trick, we make it a Three health. I guess it depends on what we hit here. We have like flash of brilliance. Uh, I guess. Because now my next time trick is gonna buff up the five one. My people can't wait much longer. I have twenty four puff caps. I'm not that worried about puff caps. Oh, there was the flash of brilliance I needed. That's the thing, if we could have hit Flash of Brilliance the first time. Then I could have played it, but. Alright, sweet. Got to win with Give It All. That's always fun. That's always fun. GG's. Oh, we got Act 2 of Arcane tomorrow. Very nice. And Aurelia Azir. I could definitely see us struggling against Aurelia Azir. Do I have time for Ballistic Bond? I don't have time for you. You're gone. I hope so. Because I want the Ignition to discard for the Poro Cannon. I definitely like Poro Cannon because of Green Glade Duo. I want the Poro Cannon for blockers. And I'm sorry, Nami. I'm not saving spell mana. I'll just... I don't know. Attack for one. I just want to pass. Alright. Got rewarded. <laughs> Do not see what is, see what will be. What will be? Mm. Humanity is obsolete. We can make some pretty big ballistic bots. Not gonna lie. We could make some pretty big ballistic bonds. Basically, 
Big ballistic pots are pretty scary. All in the shoulders. Can be scary at least. I assume one Ballistic Pot is dying. I assume they're going to use, like, Pump Spell, Riven Dancer. One of them dies. I guess it's possible they block one and then Homecoming. I doubt that's going to happen, but that could happen. Well, taking it all. Down to six with us making trips. Uh, and trips Ignitions. Or do they just disconnect right after my attack? It'd be a weird time to disconnect, but I guess it can happen. You always assume rage quit. Well, we were gonna have a cool ballistic pot game, but you know, disconnect. All right, so a three and two with Victor Nami. Uh, unfortunately, our opponent. Uh, you know, we were looking real good. You know, with the ballistic bots and everything there that last game, but then our opponent did disconnect. So we didn't get to really see exactly what would have played out there. But I liked our chances, um, being you know ahead on board. Uh, and good removal in hand. So it was it was pretty good, um, but we really struggled against the Jace decks. You know, we lost both times we played against Jace, and we saw that the uh, spell that Jace was creating, the acceleration gate was a big problem. But you know, basically it was all about like the the number three. That was like the big problem was um, they would have like these shock blast to kill two of my things. They had the six mana spell that would make the two three threes. Our double troubles were like making smaller units. And so, like, their 3 threes were bigger than mine, and so it was basically just kind of like the board would kind of stall a little bit. They would, you know, go wide, we would kind of go wide with blockers, but once it stalled, then eventually they play Acceleration Gate, and they just bust up the game, and I couldn't really stop that. And so, I don't know exactly what the, the thing to do is for that. You know, maybe you just have to be more aggressive, maybe you need more ways to do 6 damage, or so, sorry, um, 3 damage to different things um i'm not sure i don't know exactly what the answer is with that but it was those the combination of those two cars were a real problem shock blast and what's the assembly line you know like and my opponents were were doing really good at having a whole bunch of those shock blast and assembly lines and they had financier was creating assembly line that happened a couple of times um and that was that was a big problem so you know uh yeah, because, you know, like, our our financiers were 2-2s, two the, the double troubles were smaller. And unfortunately, like, Nami and Victor died quite a bit. Yeah, like, we, we really didn't draw our champions very much at all. Like, that was that was another thing, is we just didn't really have our champions very much. But as soon as we played Nami, like, they would always just kill Nami. But, um, you know, we really didn't have Nami very much. And that's kind of the card that you need to bust, to break those um, mirrors. But... The one time we did have Nami, they had the Acceleration Gate r right at the same time, and then it's like, you know, that uh, doesn't work out. If you, Sure, you can give your things plus two, plus one, and, you know, we gave a lot of things plus two, plus one as soon as we played Nami, and, like, that sounds cool, but if they just, if all of your opponent's units, if they have a full board, and they all get plus four, plus zero, and quick attack, and then another keyword, you know, like, your, your units aren't going to be big enough to block that, so... What to do about Acceleration Gate, that's going to be something to try to figure out with the deck moving forward. Alright, but anyway, that's going to be it for uh, Victor Nami. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and uh, let me know what you think. You know, maybe we have to get more aggressive with elusives and stuff, but that's pretty. it's pretty tough to be that aggressive against you know with Nami against uh, those... You know, multiple deal threes and stuff, but we'll have to figure it out. All right, but that's it for Victor Nami. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.